Hello, welcome everybody. Welcome to Talk About Jesus Talk Show. I'm your host this evening, Pastor Joanne. Please take this opportunity to share this broadcast to your friends and family because uh, uh, my special guest sitting here, you all know her, uh, uh, from All Nations Ministry, my spiritual mother, Apostle Fatima. She said, welcome was, to, welcome to talk uh, about Jesus. You're nice to be here. Yeah, you you. <laughs> and so please uh, uh, tell us from where are you watching. And she's also going to give some prophecy. So if you need a word, please put your, your, your prayer request or things what you would like to, uh, to you know, uh, answer. Please uh, put it in the comments. The, the crew will give it for, for us uh, a bit later. But, you know, it's, it's your first time. Welcome to Talk About Jesus Talk Show. This talk show belongs to Jesus. And the Holy Spirit, He writes the script. We are just the vessels who, who runs it for Him here on earth. And this talk show belongs to the whole body of Christ. Uh, for all the churches. So if you've got a powerful testimony, um, at, at, and, or you know people in your church, Please let her get in contact with me. The crew will put my, my phone number down. And please come and share your testimony uh, to the uh, people out there. You know, the devil, he hates testimonies. But uh, um, this talk show, we would love to, to give a, a, a quote for people and show them that there is still, uh, um, you know, God is oh, still, still working. working. Yeah, oh, God, God is, is working. Good. God is good. And uh, if you feel like, even if you're a gospel singer uh, and you sing in your church, come and sing us a few songs here as well. Um, that w would be also nice. Um, and a lot of people been to heaven, God took mm -hmm. you to heaven. Come and share it with us here on, on the talk show. God just told me that now. These mm -hmm. people watching here, yeah? God took you to heaven. Yes. Like so he took you. Yeah, I was in heaven and Pastor Stima was also uh, in, in heaven. So come and share it with us and tell us what, what God did in your life. Amen. So what we normally do is I greet the people first from all the countries. I do not give any names because there's a lot of long no, names. Yes. So I'm going to shout by countries, but well, before I'm going to greet everybody from the countries, they're going to watch a bit later as well, because there's different time uh, uh, zones. In Pakistan, with people, we will talk about them just now. I think it's about 10 o'clock there mm -hmm. by them now. Uh, some of them are watching from Pakistan. I told them to join. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So I'm going to greet them quickly, but... Just take this opportunity quickly to share this broadcast to your friends and family. And please go and like and follow the page as well. So we want to welcome the UK who's watching, Israel and Pakistan. Hi, I know some of you are watching now. India, Mexico, my two pastors, uh, I, um, I'm saying greeting there as well. Canada, Islander, <laughs> America, Dubai. There's two people as well, and then uh, Thailand, uh, Egypt, and then we also have port, uh, uh, Portugal, where we have All Nations Ministry, uh, who's uh, uh, watching there as well. But Apostle Fatima will tell you as well about that as well. And then I'm also going to greet South Africa, where we're from. Hello, South Africa. <laughs> from Belito, from Cape Town, um, Nelspreit. Pretoria, Centurion, and if I did skip you, Rodepoort, Krugersdorp, uh, you know, I can go on like that, where everybody's uh, watching from all, all, all places. So I just want to say welcome to Talk About Jesus Talk Show. And then um, I just want to say, we are still busy trying to to get a giraffe for a Christian game farm. So if you feel like to donate uh, uh, um, money for the, the uh, um, it's a Christian game farm where people are um, uh, only married people and if you've got a church and you want to do church camps um, um, marital camps that is a perfect place mm -hmm. to go to and uh, reconnect with your loved one and, and with Jesus because there's no TV yeah. and that's a good thing but there's animals, wild animals walking there as well. And just imagine you sit there with your, 
your husband and you're looking at and here the giraffe comes. You don't think that would be wonderful. So we are looking for a giraffe. So if you want to donate some money to let we can buy with the giraffe, it's between seven and ten thousand rand for a female. We're looking for a female giraffe. So if you know anybody who got a game farm and they got a female giraffe, tell them do you want to do a good thing? Mm -hmm. Don't don't shoot it. Give it for a Christian uh, place. So that would be wonderful. And we're also looking for the toilet. Oh, yes, they're looking for tanks. Yes. Yeah. So, um, the tanks. tanks. Yeah. So if anyone wants to donate or help give um, money towards it. That's, that's wonderful. And then if, you, uh, uh, if you've got a testimony, please get in contact with us. We've got banking details. Uh, and then if you want to become a partner of Talk About Jesus Talk Show, that's all once-off partnership uh, or monthly partnership. That money goes to, to uh, we want to go out on the fields and go to uh, speak with the people uh, uh, on Saturdays as well. We need a new, uh, more equipment for the, for the talk show. And we want, also want to donate some money to all, all the uh, people that was on the show. They also got projects and people that were helping. So we also want to help them as well. And we want to buy Bibles mm, for to, to All Nations out. Ministry mm. to send out to mm. people who do not have Bibles. So please get in contact with me um, about that. That would be mm. wonderful. And uh, yeah, mm. so Apostle Fatima. My spiritual mother, I am so honored to have you on the talk show. And what you're going to share with her, with her public. You told me today that God put a lot of things on your heart, and I am looking forward to it. Amen. So, yeah, now yeah. I want to bring um, a word what God's been talking to me about, about this humble servants yes. of the body of Christ. You know, we need to start building the body of Christ yeah. and not start breaking it down. Do you know that there is, actually now in Mozambique, we've got a branch there, mm -hmm. that the Muslims are taking over and they're standing up for each other yes. and driving out the Christians. But we notice that the Christians are breaking each other down, going mm -hmm. against churches getting against each other where we should be building the kingdom of God. That's correct. We shouldn't be fighting each other, fighting other churches. If we believe in Jesus Christ and what he did, we should be standing yeah. together. Yep. Because there is a lot of people that actually make fun of us as Christians. Yeah. And the Muslims and the Hindus are standing together and they're becoming so strong. Yes. But we as Christians are weak. Yeah, because we are fighting so much against each other. Mm -hmm that we're supposed to win souls. souls. Yes. And then they waste time in, in little things. Yeah. And what God showed me, we are a body. Yes. If the hand does something, it's not doing what the leg is doing. Yeah. And if the ear is doing something, it's not what the nose is doing. Yes. And if your arm is doing something, it's not the same as what your elbow is doing. That's but true. we are all connected yeah. in Jesus Christ. So we should be working together as a body as a one mm. because it says in the word that we are going to be working as one to bring yes. unity to the faith i just want to read ephesians it says ephesians 4 verse 11 so christ himself gave us the apostles the prophets the evangelists the pastors mm. the teachers to equip his people yes for the works of the service so that the body which is us the yes, body the body of Christ may be built up until we are all rich in unity. Mm. We need to become like a unity yes. and a body of Christ on yeah. this earth so that we can become mature. It says unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, obtaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Now, when we fight each other mm -hmm. and we don't build the kingdom mm -hmm. and we just sit back, you can't be a look Christian. Yes. At one minute you're a Christian on Sunday, but in the week you're not a Christian. That's true. And there's so many. And there's so many. Yeah. They are not standing up for the mm -hmm. gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel is the good news. Yes. We're supposed to be going out, taking the good news yes. to the people. Yeah. 
I and mean. instead they sit back and they say, oh, this one's wrong, that one's not doing this, that one did it that way. Yeah. How do you know, how did God tell them to do it? Yes. You don't know. Yeah. God said, do it this way. And that person, God said, do it that way. Because if the hand does something, the foot doesn't know. That's true. But we all work together as a, as a body to be in unity. Yes. So stop criticizing each other. Yeah. Stop looking down at each other, but build the kingdom of God. Yes. Let it be growing in unity so that we can be mature. If you are not mature in the word, yeah. you will criticize. You yes. will be judgmental. You will break your other fellow Christian down. Yeah. Jesus said in um, Luke 9, He says, If they are not against you, they are for you. Yes. Okay? So if they're not against you, if they represent Jesus and they speak of Jesus and they have the power of Jesus, then they are for you. Yeah. Now, people of another, like Muslims or Hindus, yeah. they will start making fun of us because we are not standing together as Christians. Yes. You know how many times it's sad to see how people will criticize each other and a Muslim will go around and say, oh, yeah, look what type of religion that is. Yes. Saying, oh, there's no power in your God. Because yeah. there's no unity. Because they break the people down. They yeah. break each other down. Instead of standing, we are a kingdom of God. Yeah. We are working in unity with Jesus Christ. Yes. So that we can be a body of Jesus Christ. It also says in Matthew 12 verse 30, Whoever is not with me, mm. this is Jesus speaking, Whoever is not with me is against me. And whoever does not gather with me scatters. Mm -hmm. So are you scattering the body of Christ by your words, yeah. by criticizing, by being judgmental? What are you doing to help Jesus gather? Yes. Or are you scattering? Mm -hmm. So I would like people to think about what are they saying and what are you doing to build the kingdom of God? Yes. Are you going out to win souls? Or are you backbiting and slandering and going against yeah. and wasting time where we should be getting souls saved? Because time is running up. Yes. God is coming mm. to fetch His children. Mm. And there's no time of, of uh, saying that, yes, the churches have to do it correctly. Exactly. On the word, Amen. Uh, that that mm. that is that is uh, non-negotiable. That must mm. be done correctly. But why? You base, and there's so many people who who criticize, and they're not even under covering or yes, in a church or in a church. But they so easy to criticize, yeah, or to give an opinion about something. But they've got no covering. Yes, they don't go to a church, and then they say, no, this is how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, that is not from God. Yes. God wants unity. He wants the body to be together, to be strong. Yes. We're supposed to be fighting in the spirit against things that is fighting the church, yes. not fighting each other. Yeah. Amen. You know, yeah. and, and we support and the churches, we yes, read to we, pray for them. And we network with yeah. a lot of churches yes. because we have to build and, and help them and support them and pray. When yes. one is down, we're supposed to be going and pulling them up. Thanks. Not letting them stay there and, and get to a point where you're actually um, not available to pray or you, you uh, forget about them. You're supposed to be praying yes. for each other, yeah. for the body of Christ. Because Jesus said that if you are against him, then you will scatter. Yes. Do not scatter the sheep yeah. that you're supposed to be bringing to the body of Christ, to God. That's so true. And the word, it's everything you need to know is the word. Mm -hmm. Go examine the word. Yeah. And ask God, God, is this from you or is this not from you? Yes. God will show you. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. You don't need to, to go against someone because some other person that doesn't know the word is telling you, oh, this is how it is. That's wrong. Yeah. If the Holy Spirit comes upon you and he throws you mm -hmm. somewhere, it's the Holy Spirit's power. Yes. Because there is power in yes. the presence of God. Yeah. When the presence of God comes, there is power. Yes. If you go read the book of Acts, that's how we should be. We should be living in that 
times of, in the books of Acts yeah. because that's how there's power in exactly. the world, in his presence. Yeah. You know, when you're in his presence, there's power. Now people deny the power of Jesus. It denies yeah. the power what the Holy Spirit has by criticizing. Yeah. And you know, um, that is one thing that will not be forgiven. Yes. If you blaspheme against yes. the Holy Spirit. Yeah. So be aware and say, Lord, I will not say anything. If it's not from you, then remove it. Yes. And pray for pastors because yes. pastors have a difficult time to try and keep everything, you know, um, how can I say, keep unity. Yes. It's a lot of work. So pray for your pastor. Uplift your pastor. Don't always phone, phone and say, oh, pastor, this is going on. What about praying for keeping the pastor strong? That is so, so true. They can keep the sheep. Yeah. Because there's a lot of people, they've not even gone back to church. They've actually ignored. Yeah, especially they, in this town yeah, that we're living in. in. They ignore yeah. church. They, they might sometimes read the Bible or they get a verse and they read it quickly and they forgot that they haven't spent time to read. And they give us quick prayers. Yeah, quick prayers. You know? <laughs> and, and then they, they don't even wait for God to answer them. Yeah. It's like a five minute prayer and that's it. Yeah, you, you, you pray, wait for, yeah, okay, God is not them. answering, okay, right. I will do it. Then you don't do, you're asking to do something for you and then a five minutes say, okay, he's not answering, so okay, I will do yeah. it. So you don't even spend time with him, you don't even wait for him to talk mm. to you because you're now in a hurry. Yeah. So why do you go around thinking that it's always about what you think? Yes. What about, how did God speak to that person? Yes. How did God tell them to do something? Yeah. I mean, there were prophets that were walking around naked. <laughs> I mean, imagine a prophet walking around naked nowadays. I'm sure he would have been on, on <laughs> YouTube, YouTube and yeah. news. <laughs> if God sent him to go and walk around naked to get the attention of people, yeah. he did it to be obedient. Yeah. So don't go and break other churches down. Break other Christians down. Build the body because yes. I'm telling you, there is... Religions that are getting stronger and they're making fun of the Christians because yes. they feel that we don't stand as a unity. We don't stand as a body of yes. Christ. It, they all scattered. They say, oh, I'm from this and I'm from that. No, we are one in Christ. That's we true. are one body. One can do something, God wants them to do it that way. Another yes. person does it a different way. Yes. But we are working all for the kingdom of God. Yeah. So it's important that we look at that. Examine your heart. Why do you go against things that God That's is building? So and God is, is, is trying to build something. And you are going against what he's trying to build. You know, I, when I had Pastor Hannes uh, mm -hmm. on here, um, one of my guests on here, and he said he went to this one church and he said when this pastor was preaching, he was a bit, he didn't like the way, you know, he yes. did it. He said, but when the lady went up for prayer and she couldn't hear and she went and sit next to him and she was crying and she mm -hmm. said to him, yeah. I couldn't hear and and I was deaf and, now uh, and a born deaf mm -hmm. and now I'm healed. Then he knew that God uses us on different, different ways. ways of preaching. Amen. You get some who, who like wait wait they talk loud, some of them soft loud. Everybody got their own way of preaching, mm -hmm. their own way of how they do Amen. things. Amen. But mm -hmm. it's the Holy Spirit who leads them out to Yes, and yeah. it says also in the Bible it says Set your mind, uh, um, your mind active in Christ mm. on things above, not worldly things. Yes. So your mind should be on the things of above, because if you get started thinking worldly, you actually allow the enemy to come and tell you things that is not from yes. God. You yeah. get influenced because you might be influenced by someone that's not a Christian. Yes. And they make fun and they criticize and then you take on that and you entertain yeah. that. And you're actually speaking against what God's doing. Yeah. Because now you took on someone else's opinion. Yes. So think about things above. Ask God. Yeah. Pray. Say, Lord, what do you say about this? Yes. You know, a lot of times when I first became a Christian, I used to ask God a lot of questions because I came from a Catholic background. So the first thing I remember when I went to a Christian church, mm. they were clapping and dancing, and I said, oh, that's, that's a sin. How can you clap? 
You know, because in a yeah. Catholic, you don't do that. Yes. You sit, you stand, you kneel, you sit. It was very boring. <laughs> and I thought, wow, I was so shocked that they're happy. Yeah. Because I'm like, oh. You know, because in my mind, God is an angry God. Yeah. I didn't know. So I used to look at them and think, how can they clap and dance? Mm. That's so rude. So God had to show me, no, this is how it's supposed to be done. Yeah. But because we don't know, we criticize. Yes. We, we give our opinion. Don't have opinions. We are not supposed to have opinions. Mm. We're supposed to be in what God says. Yes. We must have God's opinion. What yes. does the word say? If the word yeah. says it's like this, then you must change your mindset according to the word. Yes. You don't try and look a way out yeah. and try and change the Bible to suit you. Yeah, we do so not wrong. sugarcoat. Yes, yes. No, we, we do not sugarcoat. No. Especially in if, our church, yes. we do not sugarcoat. If it says this is how it is, then that's how it is. Yeah. You change. You don't make the Bible change for you. Yes. Or you go look for a good verse. <laughs> you just yeah. like the other verse. Yes. When God is telling you no. You know how many people do that? Yes. They get a word and then, oh, I don't like this. Let me look for something pretty and nice. No. Yeah. If no. God rebukes us, we must be obedient and listen. Yeah, if He gives you a mm. word and you don't understand Same. it, ask the Holy Spirit, okay, I, I don't understand this verse. Please reveal this to me and read it slowly and, and take every, because every word lives. Every Amen. word in the Bible it's lives. Life. It's, it's life. life. Yes. Yeah. And, and you know, the Word of God has power. Yes. There is power in the Word of God. Mm. God's Word never goes out. Yes. It never gets stale. Mm. It never dies. There is power in the Word of God. So go and read your yes. Word yeah. daily. Take the Word, chew on it, because it's life for your spirit. Yes. And if you do not uh, spend time in the Word, your spirit will not grow. It's like goes hungry. Yes. So you need to feed your spirit with the Word of God. Yeah. Amen. And I just want to read Romans 12, verse 13. It says, Do not think so of yourself so more highly than you ought to, but rather think of yourself with humble and um, low judgment in accordance with the faith of God that has distributed each one. Okay, so we're all going to yes. get gifts. From just of each of us, one body with many members. So we all have mm -hmm. one body in Christ and we all a member yes. in that body. Yeah. And these members do not all have the same function. So we're not all doing the same function. Yes. So if one does something, it doesn't mean they're wrong. God told them to do it that way. Yeah. You know? So if you the arm, I could be the leg. Yes. Another one could be the heart. The other one could be the kidneys. Yes. There is one could be the eyes, the others could be the ears. So don't think because someone does it differently that it's wrong. Yeah. And it says here, so that in Christ we through many forms of the body and each member belongs to all of the other. Yes. So we all belong to each other in the body. And we have different, we are different from each other. If your gift is prophecy, then prophesy. Mm -hmm according to that. If your gift is faith, then serve it, you know? Yes. Have the faith. If you are someone that serves, then serve. And if you are one that teaches, then teach. And if you are someone to encourage, then give encouragement. And if it's one to give, then give generously. If you are one that leads, then do it diligently. And if you are the one to show mercy, then do it cheerfully. Yes. So we all got a part in the mm. body. Don't say to the, this one, I don't need you. We are supposed to walk exactly. in unity. Yeah. We are supposed to build the kingdom of yes. God in unity. And it means all over the world. Yeah. You know, Jesus Christ's body is the whole body. Yes. It's not like we in South Africa, we do it this way. And in that country, we do it that way. Yeah. We are all a body and God needs the whole body yes. to come into unity yes. in faith so that we can mature. Yeah. And now we delay that mm -hmm. because we break each other down. Yes. And you know, we need each and every one of us. Yes, we do. Because we cannot function properly as That's, a body yeah. if one piece is broken. That's correct. So we should be encouraging and helping each other in the body of Christ. Yes. 
Amen. And there's a lot of people that will say, oh, well, I don't like the way they do it at that. I don't like their worship. I don't like that you this way. I don't like that they wear that. I don't like that they speak like that. I don't like that they dance yes. too much. I don't like if that one falls. I don't like if that one hits that one on the head. Yes. If God says do it, then you do it the way that he says it. Amen? Yeah. Because when God showed me how I to do my ministry, I said, oh, Lord, okay. <laughs> Each one is called according to the exactly. gift that he yeah. has given you. And it doesn't mean that it's wrong. We have to build the body. Yes. You know, I mean, now we've got uh, Pakistan that is now part of all nations. Yeah. we are and so happy. And, and the way they do it, it's so interesting to see with the instruments yes. and the sounds that they do. It's so different. It's much but, different in us. Yes. Yeah. And, and the way they worship, it's so different to what, but it's not wrong. Yeah. If you look at the at the Thai music uh, yeah, exactly. in Thailand, Thailand. Yeah. and how they worship, it's so different to the Chinese. Yes. The Chinese are a little bit more stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know? And then you look at the um, Cape Town, the colors, how they get heavy excited. Yes. Yeah. Oh, they get, yes, they get so excited. excited. Yeah. And then you look at someone like from France, they more stuff. Yeah. But it doesn't mean they're wrong. Yeah. It's so, just the way how they do it. Yes. And they, they, we are all building the kingdom of God so that we can yeah. become in unity. We dance with flags. Yes. Some churches yes. don't yes. dance with flags. Yes. But it, it, it's, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. So God will use you according to your gift. Yes. And He will open your eyes to see that we are all one body. Yeah. So please, people, don't go and break the Christians and break each other yeah. down and break churches and speak against it and respect your pastor. If yes. someone's a pastor, honor that person as a pastor. If they're a prophet, they honor them as a prophet. If they're an evangelist, honor them as an evangelist. Yeah. If they're an apostle, honor them as an apostle because to get to that level, it's not easy. Yeah. They went through things. You know, God tests you. Yeah. And it puts you through things to get you up there. You know, it's it's a walk that you go through. It's true. Mm. And you know, Pastor, what you said there now, a lot of pastor women, what I know, mm. say they, they battle in this field to be a woman mm. because there's some men or people mm. who don't respect respect mm. for, for you as a woman pastor. pastor yeah. yeah. Because there, there is some of them say, oh, a woman shouldn't preach. Yeah. But if God has called you, and he says, I want you yes. to come up and preach. You will go up because yeah. you go according to what God says, not man. And in yes. the spirit, there is no male and female yes. in the spirit. So that is another thing that people should not criticize. It's, because yeah. if God needs a woman, he will rise up anyone. Exactly. And if, he, if, we don't, if we're not obedient, if he has to rise up a donkey yes. to speak, then imagine yeah. who is he going to rise up. He'll get animals to speak. Yeah. So we must be obedient to God's word and speak when he says speak. And he says preach, you must preach. Because the time is coming near. Yeah. We have to get ready. And we're wasting yeah. time by breaking down, right. down. churches, yeah. breaking down each other's work. We need to stand in unity. I encourage churches to always network, network yes. with each other. Yeah. We are doing oh, a we, lot we of networking. Yeah, we did it Sunday and Monday, yeah. we did networking. And, and we're doing it with overseas people. Yeah. We've got so much connections overseas because we're networking. We need to encourage each other, exactly. help each other, yeah. see what part, uh, who, like Mozambique, we pray now for them because the yes. Muslims are coming in. They've taken over uh, Mozambique and people don't even know it. And they're battling to, to keep mm. the church going because... They have to leave where they live to go and hide or yeah. they move into another town. So it's difficult. And even Pakistan and, and, and India, there's so much need. Yeah. And we have to pray, we pray have to encourage them, them yes. uplift them. Because when they are down, we're supposed to be bringing them up and, and, and encouraging um, the, the ministry. The ministry. And that lady, what was in our church, uh, uh, um, what just suddenly spoke uh, in a different language. Oh, yes. Um, the, it was about a month ago, yes. um, we had a member, a new member that came mm. and she wanted to um, get baptized in the, um, in the Holy Spirit tongues. Yes. And as she started praying in tongues, she suddenly went into memorandum. Me me um, me 
uh, uh, speaking in, in, yeah. in, in Chinese. And the Holy Spirit um, allowed us to translate what she was saying. And she was actually saying, um, pray for China because there is people trapped in a cave and they can't get out. Please pray for China. She kept repeating it, repeating yes. it, saying, pray for China because they're trapped in a cave and they can't get out. And there was snow or something blocking the cave. Yeah. So we started praying as a church. Yeah. And then God showed that they got out. So God uses other churches to pray for us and we yeah. pray for them. Yes. So the Holy Spirit is always working. He will not give you one message and give someone else another message. That's you will true. notice the pastors are all talking about revival. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit is talking about revival. Yes. We are all getting the same message from the same Spirit. Yeah. It's when it's not the Spirit of, the, of God. Yes. Then it's a different spirit. Yeah. And then it's a different message. But all of them, all the conferences, every church is talking about revival, about move of God coming. Mm. The glory, the glory that's filling yes. the churches. We, I mean, our and service, it's happening. Yeah. It's happening almost now. Yeah. Every time we don't even get to the sermon, we just praise and worship. As we praise and worship, the glory yes. cloud comes in. There is a glory cloud that fills the, the room. Yeah. And we see it everywhere because God is moving. moving. He's moving. He's now. going everywhere. He's moving. So the Holy Spirit, He brings that in. And now people criticize them. What you do, you mm. actually grieve the Holy Spirit that He actually leaves. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit is very sensitive. Yeah. He's very sensitive. And you grieve Him, He will move out. Yeah. Because there's a lot of church mm. who sometimes let the Holy Spirit stay outside. outside. Because they don't want to, and they sugarcoat stuff, because they don't want to lose offend, members. And offend. And offend people. And Jesus offended. Yes. He offended. So who are we to yeah. try and change what God says? If God says it's wrong, it's wrong. If yeah. God says it's a sin, it's a sin. Yes. Don't sugarcoat God's word. God's word is pure. Mm. And it lives forever. Yes. He says that it, death will never die. It lives forever. He, his word will never die. So people stop pushing away the Holy Spirit. Yes. Stop um, allowing and blocking the Holy Spirit. Let mm. him just do what he wants to. Yes. Enjoy his presence. If you want to laugh, you laugh. Some people yeah. walk out because others are happy. Yeah. I mean, really? Why leave the church? Because people are happy. Yes. Others, they fall. So what? Let them fall. Yeah. And others say, no, this is wrong. No, the Holy Spirit yeah, works. The religion spirit. Yeah, we go yeah. against the religious spirit. Yes. We bind that yes. religious spirit. Let the Holy Spirit work. Let God do what He needs to do to shake you, to stir you up. Yes. So that you lose all that um, 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 religious spirit in you that holds you from yeah. enjoying the presence of God. Because if you look at King David... Mm. I mean, he went and he danced and, and yes. he enjoyed himself and his wife sat in there criticizing. And then God actually said, because of that, she wouldn't have children. Yeah. You know, because God was so happy to see what David was doing, dancing in the presence yeah. of God. And then someone goes and criticizes. I dance in and the we house dance and yes. sing. Yes, and, and even in the church, we yeah. dance, we are We're free. Yes. We allow the Holy Spirit to move. We do not... Hold him back. Whatever he wants to do, you just let him do. And we say, Lord, this is your house. This is your service. And he does what he wants yeah. to. But when you start controlling and trying to put your plans in it, yeah. then things go. And, and if you feel like to go on your knees, stop mm -hmm. thinking of what other people around you is going to think if you go on your knee, mm -hmm. knees or go flat down, mm -hmm. lie on the floor because that's the flat that you can go yeah. to, to If you worship. want to really submit yes. go lie flat, flat on your on face the, yes. because you cannot go lower than that. Yeah. That is total surrender to Jesus yes. Christ. And you know a lot of times I do that. I go onto the carpet yes. and I just lie there and I spread my hands out and I say Lord I surrender. And you know you just wait for his presence and he yeah. starts talking to you because that's total surrender. You can go not lower within that ground. Exactly. So start surrendering to Jesus. And don't worry about what people are mm. not. You say you're not there for them. Amen. Anyway. <laughs> exactly. You're there for Jesus. Yes. Not for them. for them. Amen. You know? So um, I just wanted to share this yes. because God's been talking about it. That we need to start networking with churches. Yes. Start encouraging each other. Yeah. And, and I pray that 
um, you people will pray for your pastors, your prophets, your evangelists, your apostles. Yes. And, and that there can be more networking so that we can build the kingdom. Yes. Go out. You never know that by you being obedient to God, you can get someone saved. Yes. And through that, that you can actually start growing mm. a, a, a ministry by just getting one every day saved. Yes. You know, or pray for them and yeah. so they can see what God can do. Because if you pray and they believe, they accept that by faith. Yes. And they will, and yeah. they will believe in God. Yeah. But now a lot of people are too embarrassed to, to say or to pray or to... to to um, try and, and testify about Jesus. Yeah. And they just overlook and they say, it's not my problem. Yeah. No, it is our problem. Yes. Because we are the body of Christ. It is our problem when there's people suffering. It is our responsibility to go out and pick them out of that and bring them to Christ. Yeah, if you go to a, a, a shop, try not mm. to put like, like little flags. You know, when I did horse riding, <laughs> My horse had two little flags for, 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 for the flies. Oh. Now, I think sometimes the people mm -hmm. took that, that thing uh, and, and they put it on like that. When, when they don't see anybody, they go into the shop, they get stuff and get out. Mm -hmm. Rather go into the shop and say, Jesus, if I, there's someone I need to give a word to or prophesy mm -hmm. or pray for, show mm -hmm. them, reveal them yes. for me in, in, a, in a shop. If it doesn't happen, the lady at the till. You know how much how they sit there and they're working with difficult people? people you can no, just tell them, sorry ma'am, or sir, I just want to tell you, Jesus loves you. You will see how you make that day uh, for that lady Person. who works there at the till. Yeah. And I mean, if someone says, oh, I've got a headache, like today, um, we went to put petrol, and a gentleman said, oh, I've got such a bad headache. I said, can I pray for you? And he was yeah. shocked. And he's like, okay, so I took his hand. And yes. like, okay, and I prayed, and I said, God will heal you, and you'll be fine. Later, when we went past, he actually says, hi, I'm fine, my head's gone. Yeah. So, do something bold for Jesus. Well, I just bold. I went to pray for my boss's <laughs> son. Yeah, so do something bold. It yeah. doesn't matter. They must receive. You yeah. just speak, and they must receive. Do it and, 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 and say, Lord, I've done it for you. Yes. Because we are God's hands. We are God's feet. We are God's mouth. If you need to give a word, don't be scared. Is it wrong? Is it right? So what if it was wrong today? Yeah. So what? Next time you'll get it right. Don't be ashamed of the gospel yes. of Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed to stand up and say something. And if God says it's like this, it's okay, I, I didn't get it all, but this is what I get God says. Say yes. it by faith. Yeah. And you learn to hear God's voice. Yeah. Because that's how you get trained. But if you don't do it, then you will not use the gift. That's true. Mm. Is it, please tell us from where are you guys watching from? Is there any person who needs a word? Uh, 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 I want to ask my crew here, any, any questions here? Well, I just see um, Fernanda. I just want to pray Fernanda. for Fernanda. Oh, yeah. I'm Lord, I, I pray for um, that you will start seeing mm. what God has for you, the yes. bigger plan. And you step out in boldness mm. for that bigger plan. Go out and just say, Lord, okay, I'm now free to do what you say. Yes. Don't overthink. Don't try and reason it, yes. because when God says do it, you do it by faith, and you just walk. Mm. And you see every day He will show you. Because sometimes when we overthink, we actually stop ourselves because we think we're not uh, capable of doing it. Yes. So I pray for, for, for Fernando that he will go out of boldness, and he will step out, and he mm. will do what God has called him to do, and God has got big, big plans. And you will do it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I also see there's someone that's got um, tennis elbow. Mm? Yeah, it's like sore. Yes. It's like, yeah. So I pray for that in the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord, because I'm feeling it. Yeah. So thank you, Lord Jesus, for total healing of a tennis elbow. Yes. I pray for it to be gone in the yes. name of Jesus, Amen. in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I pray yes. for Luke. Thank yes. you, Lord, that you touch Luke. We right pray now. for his healing. Yeah. And thank you, Lord, that you heal him from the top of his head to the yes. uh, uh, tip of his toe. And, and thank you, Lord, that everything will go in the name of yes. Jesus. 
and his body is covered by his presence. Lord, your presence is upon Luke. Thank you, Lord, that he will jump up and be fine in the name of Jesus. And, and Lord, we also pray that there will be no fear in him in the name of Jesus. There's nothing wrong because you, Lord, you are our healer in Jesus' name. Amen. I know that if you have someone with heartburn, uh, I pray in the name of Jesus that that heartburn will go away and never come back in the mighty name of Jesus. That heartburn in the name of Jesus. And also someone with a gold stone. They actually said you have to go for um, an op. We pray that if they will just break up. Yes. and dissolve. They yes. will dissolve by yes. themselves in the name of, the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every ghost stones. Thank you, Lord. We pray for that to be gone. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you do total healing. I pray also for restoration in finances. In the name of Jesus. God did not make us poor. The spirit of poverty, I tell you to leave. And in the name of Jesus, I tell the spirit to leave. We are not here to suffer. We are here to build kingdom. And God blesses us with good things. And everything that belongs to Him is our inheritance. So, Lord, we pray for financial breakthrough. And whatever you put in your mind that wasn't of God, that you spoke against yourself, saying, I don't have, or I can't afford it, I break that in the name of Jesus, and I release favor upon you. And God will restore everything that the enemy tried to steal from you. And remember, you need to tie. If you don't tie, you need, you're actually yes. robbing God. Yeah. And you, are you actually <laughs> blocking your own <laughs> blessing? <laughs> I also pray for um, Desiree. Desiree. Yeah. Oh, Desiree. Desiree, I pray for, for restoration, for peace, for inner healing and, and forgiveness yes. in your heart. Lord, I pray for, for restoration in relationships in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are the God that restores the brokenhearted. You restore and you come in and wash any pain. And thank you, Lord, that you are a healer. Even our emotional pain, you come and you heal in the name of Jesus. And thank you, Lord. And someone is going for operation tomorrow. God said, Don't worry, you are not alone. I'm there with you in that operation. If it's you, please comment. If it's later, people are going to watch later. God said, You are not alone. I'm with you. Don't be scared. Thank I'm you, with you. Yeah. I see Caroline, Caroline, thank you, Lord, that God is rising you up. This is yes. putting you in a higher place. Amen. He says, I'm rising you up to do great Amen. things yes. for God. He's putting you in a higher Amen. place, and you're going to shine in that place for His yes. glory. He put you Amen. there for His glory. And through that, you're going to see how He's going to use you, because your gift is in you. You need to release that gift. And as you start doing it in faith, you will see that God is going to work through you. And don't be afraid to speak because you've got the prophetic word in you. But you, you, you keep it back because you're not sure if you should say it. Just say it by faith and you'll see how God will use you. And then all, all of the words you say is right. And you'll know that it's from God. Don't hold back. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for blessing her. In Jesus I name. Yeah, wheelchair. Wow. Chair. I don't know what wheelchair, what God is saying now, but I am mm. wheelchair, mm. wheelchair. Lord, we yes. pray for people that are in wheelchairs. Yes. Lord, Lord you can do yes. anything. Yes. We bind any Karapa. spirit that yes. is holding people down, down in a wheelchair. wheelchair. Lord, yes. we speak to that Karapa. body yeah. to rise up. Zata. Yes. To rise to up rise in the name of Jesus. Name those Jesus. legs and those yeah. knees. I see something to do yes. with knees. I bind that spirit Zata. that's you going against it. the knees. And I say you will rise up yes. and you will glorify God yeah. in your body. Yes. Because if your body is broken, you yes. cannot glorify God. Yeah. So we pray for that God body to God. rise up. Your knees are strong. Yes. Your back God is strong. God. Yes. And you will not be held back because of a wheelchair. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God yes. is going to Send the Holy Fire of the Holy Spirit yes. that's going to heal you and it's going to yes. go flash right through your body in the name of yes. Jesus. You're going to find and you're going to testify yes. about this yeah. because you can feel that heat going yes. through you and it's healing you in the name of Jesus. 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 Holy yeah. Fire over Jesus those knees. You're supposed to be not to be in, be in a wheelchair. You're supposed it's to stand up. Yes, it's already. a lie. You, do, yeah. you don't go according Karapapa. to doctor's yes. reports. 
Yeah. We got good, but God's report. Exactly. And God says, we are God's here. Like, we he are says, here. He said Karapati to the Israelites, there should be none of you sick amongst you. Yes. So Karapati we as Christians, none of us are sick. Yes. Amen? So stand on the word. You yes. must take things by force. Yes. Kingdom force. of God suffered violence. Yeah. And we yes. must take things by force. Yeah. Stop being weak. We are strong. You know, we win. Yes. We won. The Bible said at the end, we won. Yes. So why are you a victim? Stop yeah. being a victim. We've won. So yes. every time you trace something to you, say, Lord, um, devil, get out of here. I've yes. won. Amen. 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 I also pick up. No, it's getting hot. It's getting very hot now. No. I pick up someone is worried yeah, about their son. Their son has left. Haven't told them where they, he's gone to. Um, they had the argument. So Lord, we pray yes. for that son to come back. back. And Lord, we pray back. for that friend yes. to contact the mother to say yes. that the son is fine. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That we pray for these children. They will stop being disobedient. We pray and we shake them and we say you will be obedient to your parents. Lord, whatever the enemy is trying to use to come against these children, to influence the children in the wrong way, especially through media, yeah. Watching games, you know, these things mm. can pollute your eyes. Whatever yes. goes through your eyes, whatever goes through your ears, that is not of God. Yes. You bring in spirits mm. into your body. Yes. So we go against that. Especially our children, you must watch what your children's up to. If you feel the Holy Spirit's telling you there's something wrong in your child, you go and you ask God and you start praying. Pray for your children. Yes. Anoint them. The men be the priests of the house. Yes. Go and pray for your household. Anoint your children. Anoint your wife. Yes. Pray so that nothing will come against you. Because the children are being attacked by all these things that they watch. By media. What they hear. You know the media lies. A lot. They lie. Yes. Because they're worldly. Yes. So they will tell us nonsense and people believe. It's lies. Yes. Ask the Holy Spirit, Lord, yeah. is this right? Yeah. You shouldn't even be listening to them. God can tell you what is going on. Yeah, all this See, stuff what people, people are just saying to you. Yeah, it's yeah. nonsense. Be aware. Say, Holy Spirit, is this? Then yes. wipe it off. Cancel it. Just take it out and delete. I get, delete, delete, I get delete. a lot of messages when I mean, uh, Holy Spirit it's said delete. delete. Don't nonsense. even open it. Yeah. Because you're opening your eyes yes. and things come in. You mm -hmm. open your ears and things come in. Be aware. Guard your heart. Guard your heart against things. Be connected with what the Holy Spirit says. Whatever you need to know, He will let you find out. I don't even listen to the news. What He wants me to know, someone will come and tell me and I know. I don't watch the news. God is my news. You need deliverance after the news. After, yeah. Amen. So we pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your protection. Yes. For your protection. Put, holy, uh, put a worship music yes. in your house. And we put a Listen holy fire, you. a wall of holy fire yeah. against anything that's trying to come into yes. our family, yeah. into our um, workplace. Yes. You know, go and pray um, over your boss's table yes. when he's not there. <laughs> Especially if he's, he's not a Christian. Pray, anoint his chair, That's so that he true. can feel something happening. I know. Mean. Instead of, of leaving everything up to other people to do, if you are in a place, God put you mm. in that workplace, you are supposed to be praying for that place. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is there anybody who wants quickly work before out to the last announcements? Please pray for people that go to business. We've got yeah. a business. Lord, we come in the name of Jesus and we thank you, Lord, for all the good things that you give us. We have a great inheritance. And whatever we do, our hands are blessed. So whatever we do, it's blessed. And thank you, Lord, we pray for financial freedom in every person. That our business will grow so that we can glorify you. And people can see that we are blessed people because we serve you. And the ungodly, the money of the ungodly will come to the righteous. So we take it. Just take it by force. Just take it by force. And say, thank you, Lord, I'm taking the money from the ungodly into my account. And Lord, that you will bless us so that we can show those that don't know you that you are a good father, that you provide for us and that you protect us. And, our, and you mustn't think of COVID. Yes. We prospered. You know, Jacob prospered even in the drought. And he had 100% um, percent, um, uh, fold. Yes. And now people say, oh, COVID this, COVID that. No. 
We do not go according to the worldly system. We go according to God's system. Exactly. So stop blaming and yes. looking for the reason why things aren't working. Start fighting for your 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 business in the spirit yes. and claiming what's yours. You know, Pastor Amen. Kim, I think I need to get you on a talk show again and let's talk about finances. Yes. That the people can know uh, about, about, about yes, finance, finances. finances. Yeah. I think because that would be I remember wonderful. we didn't know how to tithe. Yeah. We we well we never tithe. I was Catholic. I used to give coins. Yes. <laughs> I was terrible Catholic. When I became saved, God had to teach me to tithe. He had to teach me to do offerings. He had to yes. teach me how to budget my money. Yeah. Get out of debt. You must not have debt. God yeah. doesn't want us to have debt. Yes. So get out of your debt. Say, Lord, help me to get out of debt. Yes. Show me how to work with my money. Yeah. Because there's there's principles. That God has for us Amen. to work, and we're going to be doing next year a, a, a kingdom business course. Yes, that's on how to work wonderful. with your money, how mm. to to grow the kingdom of God, how to get out of debt, and how to. You must all so be please, working you, for yourself yeah. and having something for yourself. So if you want to join the Amen. course, please uh, get yeah. in contact with uh, the All Nations Ministry, and we will tell you when that Amen. will will, yeah, will be happen. Okay. Well, before I'm going to, I quickly want to say next week, guys, you mustn't miss next week because we will have Miss Jewel of a World 2018 here in the studio. She's flying from Durban, KZN, I think it's KZN, flying uh, uh, to, to come and talk with us about how difficult it is it's in, a, in, in, in bullying and, and all that. And beauty. And beauty and how women you know, are, are, are jealous and how the mm. things are going there. She, do, the, her, her name is Nina Poseidon Knight. She was uh, uh, Miss Jula of the World 2018. She's also going to present South Africa in another beauty pageant. She will come with a whole uh, um, crown. crown and sasha. Maybe I will set a little crown, crown as well. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, well, we're all beautiful. We, um, yes, yeah. and we're getting crowns in heaven. Yeah. When you do stuff for Jesus, you get a crown. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so we are looking forward to her. And we're also getting two another special guests. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, one is an actor and one is well known in, in the... In, in the um, uh, how can I say, in the government mm -hmm. side, well, uh, but we will tell you more about that if it comes uh, uh, in here. So that's why you have to follow and like the page as, as well, because we are also going to interview some of the politicians or the mm -hmm. actors or whoever God puts on, uh, uh, on the talk show will be on a Saturday. So Amen. some of them will be on a Saturday because they're very busy in the week. But uh, um, I'm looking forward to, to yes. have them. Yeah. Uh, you know who yes. they are. <laughs> but we will tell you soon if we uh, just finalize the dates. Amen. We will tell you who they are. And you do not want to miss that. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you to my crew who's helping you. Um, you know, they are busy. They've got their own ministries. But they take time to come here to the uh, 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 studio and come and help. We've got Vaxxas Nella. She's very busy. She works with a lot of overseas people in her business. But she comes here. We've got a, then a pastor, uh, um, uh, Marie. she got uh, um, All Nations Miric uh, uh, Recovery. Recovery Center. I want to say Miracle Center. <laughs> Well, that too, she does yes. that. There's a yeah. lot of miracles happening. Miracles yes. happening in that. Uh, yeah, Amen. if you've got any drug addiction, mm -hmm. uh, any addiction, yeah. um, they work with the, the uh, um, um, parents as well oh. and with the kids mm -hmm. in a Christian way, how they work, deal with it. I mean, Pastor Ernest, he works with kids, mm -hmm. uh, kids ministry as well. And if you want beautiful crosses, like wooden crosses, Please get in contact with him. He makes the most beautiful crosses. You know, God, mm -hmm. he worked with wood. wood yeah, and carpenter. he makes it carpenter. Yes. So he's a carpenter and that's for his way of, mm -hmm. while he makes all this beautiful stuff, uh, uh, God speaks to him mm -hmm. a lot there as well. So I just want to thank you for the crew for the time to come and help with a talk show. And then I want to say... Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit, you the yeah. guest, the yeah. Holy Spirit is the guest of yeah. honor. <laughs> so we want to say thank you, Holy Spirit, to work through us to, to 
give a word for your precious people who's Amen. watching this show. Amen. I'm going to say thank you to Amen. you, Apostle thank Fatima. You. So thank you. You are coming. Here. You have to yes, come on I'll the show <laughs> to do the business. So we're going to talk about money and how to run your, your, your money, money because I think a lot of people, I saw this little ad today. This lady had this, uh, 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 she had a lot of bags and then she went like, tweet, 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 tweet. And she tells her husband, no it is credit card, you know, was just kept her busy, <laughs> you know, she bought all this stuff. So no. you need to know how to work with money and mm -hmm. stuff. So I think that's mm -hmm. a very good idea. And God doesn't want us to be poor. Being humble is not yes. poverty. Yeah. There's a spirit of poverty. Yes. And being humble is we not poverty. We have to break that. Yes. Yes. So and think rich. Yes. Fake it no, till you make it. Fake it until you make it. <laughs> you act and confuse yes. the enemy. Yes, confuse make it. it. Totally confused. No, because yeah, you won't even know what happened to I you. I mean, my no. car, I want a Mustang. <laughs> if I go to Manchester, I always said, what car are you driving? A Mustang. Yeah. But that's not a Mustang. I ride a Mustang. Yeah. Just see a Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So don't be confused yes. upon the enemy. Over the enemy. He will not touch your money. And Amen. then I want to say thank you for you who's watching this talk show. Thank you for tuning. Thank you for uh, 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 um, like and follow the page. Thank you for your comments. Even if you put like an angry face, we still love you. But you know, we love you. But Jesus loves you more. He died on a cross for you. Yes, you. So don't forget next week, go get your crowns <laughs> and sit and enjoy uh, Miss Jewel of the World uh, 2018 for next week, 6.30. So um, get, uh, have, get you all your girls together uh, and teenage girls and let them sit and let them hear. Even the men can listen, so they can help if they got daughters, yes. they can give them advice. advice. So it's not just for the women, it's for the men as well who got daughters, uh, uh, who maybe do not w want to watch, uh, sit down and watch a show. You can give them advice as well. Amen. So from me, Pastor Joanne, from Apostle Fatima Dos Ramos, we just want to say thank you for tuning in. We love you, but Jesus loves you more. Bye, guys. Bye. Share, like, follow the page. Bye.